And so let me just start by summarizing the bottom line of what I want to get across, which is something that I think applies to anyone, regardless of your preference for relationship, regardless of your level of consciousness, regardless of the difference in level of consciousness between you and your partner or your desired partner. And that is that we have to understand that first of all, we are individual beings. First of all, we are, first of all, we are beings. So this sounds like such a simple thing to say, but many people that seek for relationships, whether they do so unconsciously or whether they try to use, say, the law of attraction to attract partnerships into their lives that feels satisfying, most people do so out of a belief that they're lacking something to begin with, right? Now, this is sort of the cliche thing to say, but it's true. So let's investigate this. From early age onward, we're brought up to believe that we're unworthy, that we're not good enough, that we are lacking something. And there is no more tangible example or there's no more tangible symbol for fulfilling that believed in gap or hole or void than another human being. Because another human being, when they enter our space, they make life so real. They look us in the eyes, they confirm that we exist, they acknowledge that we exist, and maybe sometimes they really don't, but the experience is intensely that we are being reflected by life itself, that we are alive, that we exist. And so other human beings tend to be symbols onto which we project most of our lack ideas about ourselves and our hopes for fulfilling that from the outside in. So, well, we all know the slogans, you shouldn't seek for relationships because you want fulfillment from them. You should feel fulfilled first, and then you will find those relationships. And that is the core of what I'm seeing. But I want, I want to make it even clearer and say that what most people, the, the mistake that I see most people make is that when they hope for relationships, when they desire relationships, and when those relationships finally arrive in some point, point, in some form, sorry, people forget that they are their own being. People forget about their own journey, putting their own journey first, putting their own path first. And what happens when we forget our own alignment to our own journey, to our own path, to our own empowerment, to what we are here to create and choose and desire and experience, for the sake of something that enters our lives, someone that enters our lives, that seems so much more intensely reflecting and acknowledging of the fact that we exist, that now all of our lack beliefs feel so satisfied by that, that we ditch or forget our own journey, that we forget the importance of our own alignment, because the first relationship we should ever cultivate and this is why most of you, or many of you, I wouldn't say most of you, but many of you, are perhaps unable to attract the type of relationships that you actually truly desire. It is because you're stagnating at a level of awareness, at a level of relationship within yourself, relationship to your own higher self, to your own soul, to your own journey, to your own path. It is because you're stagnating, because you're looking too much for something to come meet you where you're at. Now, you will always reflect, you will always get the reflections from the outside world, from this illusion that we call real, but it's really just reflections within your own consciousness. It's really just kind of like a dream, um, like a holographic universe that we reflect to ourselves what is going on inside. And so when we cease to pay predominant attention to who we are and how we wish to develop and learn and unfold as an individual human being. When we forget about that for the sake of wanting to feel somebody's touch or wanting to hear how amazing we are or wanting to see in someone's eyes reflected the fact that we exist, when we put our hopes and therefore our lack beliefs first and our own individual courage and power and empowerment and journey and path Second, life will not allow us to have a thriving relationship. Life will not allow us to give us the relationships we truly desire that truly go hand in hand with who we are. So what I encourage you all to do is to ask yourself, where am I making my own relationship to myself secondary for the sake of another person? whether it's for the sake of their touch, their company, their recognition, or even the idea of like a soulmate or a twin flame. Because 
any of these more profound, shall I say, matching relationships that really have the capacity, that have the potential to be what we would call that soulmate or twin flame reflection, um, these types of experiences cannot come to you if you are not first really, really confident and realized and having an amazing, profound connection to your own higher self, to your own journey.